panels have a screen annotation tool built into them. This allows for you to annotate over any content that you have displayed on the panel. This is great for in-classroom instruction. However, right now, teachers are doing distance learning and our students are staying at home. So I wanna share with you a tool that can be used for distance learning. This is called Windows Inc. Workspace. This is gonna be for Windows devices only. Now, to use Windows Inc. Workspace, I'm gonna start by opening up content that I want to annotate over. Now, I'm gonna bring up a PDF, but it could be a website, it could be a picture, anything that you have displayed on your Windows device. Now that I have my content open, I am gonna activate Windows Inc. Workspace. To do that, Look in the systems tray to the side where you can see the time, keyboard, and then I have a little pen. Now, right now, if you're looking at your systems tray at the bottom right and don't see that pen, I wanna show you how you can activate it. You'll start by finding some space on the toolbar that does not have an icon. And you're gonna right click. You can do this from your computer that you have or if you're doing it from the panel, just do a long press and you'll see a little pop-up that comes up. You'll want to make sure that there is a check mark next to Show Windows Inc. Workspace button, so you can just touch on it. Once you've activated that, you can see you'll have the pen where I can touch on that pen, and on the right side it says Full Screen Snip. I'm gonna to touch on that Full Screen Snip, and it's gonna take a screenshot of what I have displayed on my Windows computer. Now, from here, I'm going to take my annotation tool, which is going to be my mechanical pencil, and I'm going to immediately walk up and start to annotate. Now, our panels have object recognition, so it knows I have something thin and I want to write. Now, if I need to erase, I'm going to take the back of my hand, drag it across, and erase from there. Now, up at the top, you can change out the color if I wanted to do a brighter color and adjust the thickness, I can as well. And if you want to write with your finger instead of a stylus, there is the little hand with a squiggly line. Just make sure it's underlined. So go ahead and give it a touch and then you can annotate with your finger. Now, if you want to save this image with your writing on it, there is a little floppy disk in the top right you can touch on that, change the file name if you want to, and add it to the correct folder. Then that image will be saved to your computer. That is Windows Inc. Workspace. It is a great tool to use for distance learning because a lot of you are using platforms like Google Meet or Zoom and you are sharing your screen. This would allow for your students, wherever they are, to be able to see your content and your annotations all at once. Go ahead and turn on your new line panel and check out Windows Inc. Workspace.